What's going on, everybody? It's Shabbat, UTX to Prophecy, and I'm just going to dive right on to it. I ain't going to do the introduction again. I'm going to give you guys my top five reasons I dislike Battlefield Hardline. And I'm going to start it off immediately with number five, the health. How many times has this happened to you where you've spawned and just instantly died? Get revived, run around for a second, get smacked again. This game is very big on um, smaller health, faster kills. I think that goes with the whole fast pacedness of this entire game. But you die extremely fast. Now on exact flip side, you get double kills, triple kills, quadra kills just as fast. Because the health is so low. I mean, I really could have cleaned this whole room out if I was aiming better. Number four on my list is going to be uh, money. The idea of money is a, a beautiful touch. You know, I mean, it's cops, it's robbers. Uh, what, what's better than to incorporate money being the staple for how you buy things and how you get things? The problem with that is that I feel that it, it makes it too easy to attain everything. Um, Obviously, this isn't like the typical battlefield or typical game where you just have to level up and you get um, an unlock for a weapon. But with the addition of money, I feel like it just makes it too easy. Um, it's easy to get sites. It's easy to get e literally everything um, in this game. You know, you could come out and be really a goat from, from, from the jump street. Um, as well as I feel that once you get what you want, like say your setup is, you know, the ACR, ACWR, uh, silencer, stock, and all that, you're going to have a, a, a large amount of money that you're just not going to do anything with. It's one of the things that I feel that Destiny suffers from as well is Destiny only lets you hold 25000 but you don't really need to spend money on anything. Um, at all in that game and it's almost the same as in this game where once you get what you want you don't need the money so I wish there was a way that you could um, I, I don't know how you would do away with it or, or what but it just needs to be uh, incorporated more or make things more uh, expensive I guess that, that could be a, a fix for it um, so we'll see what happens later on now number three on my list is going to be actually the map design um the map design, um, it's, and it's not for for every map, but I'm specifically speaking on this map. That's the reason why this gameplay is running throughout the whole uh, game. Um, this map specifically, and there's another map that's that's almost the same as this map, and it's very easily to get. Or I say easily. It's very easy to get stopped um, in these in some modes um, with some of these maps. Like, you can't push forward. You can't... If you're playing against a good team, they'll keep you in the back of your spawn and you can't do anything. I actually have a... Um, I, I don't have a gameplay, which I wish I actually showed it more in detail, but this map, they held us back to the point where we couldn't move past our base. Like, they just had the roofs um, sniped out. They had uh, spawn beacons to the sides, like where he is right now. And we couldn't move at all in this game. And it just, there's another map, and there's a few maps that are just like this, that some maps are just not necessarily designed too well, um, in my opinion. Number two on my list is going to be the concept. I feel that, again, like I stated in my likes video, the concept of cops and robbers, I love this approach. But one of the things that's wrong with it is that there's really no difference between cops and or robbers. You have essentially the same gadgets the same weapons like the weapons can actually be um, switched over so once you've mastered a weapon you can use a cop's weapon on a robber so there doesn't really seem to be any real you know difference if you look at a game like Splinter Cell uh, Double Agent when you were a spy you know they had completely different gadgets they moved different they were faster they were quicker there was like little things that were different about them Versus the Mercs, who were had guns, 
you know, they, they had all these amazing other gadgets that they could use. Um, and this is just an example that I'm trying to give, not necessarily saying that Battlefield Hardline can do the same thing. I just feel it needs to be some kind of difference between the two. Now, number one on this list is going to be the lack of content, plain and simple. Uh, I feel that with Battlefield 4, when it first started off, no DLC included, it actually had a total of 74 weapons which Battlefield Hardline has a total of 51. Now, game modes, maps, is very uh, nitpicky, meaning in Battlefield 4, there was one extra map, um, and there was also, like, for game modes, it was the same amount of game modes. Now, my beef with this is that this is a newer game. Um, I feel that it should at least incorporate some of the basic things that are in the previous ones, as well as weapons. 24 gap is a, is a lot of weapons. Now, I know this game uh, put weapons on the ground and separated them, but it doesn't total 24. I feel that it should at least include Rush, Domination, some of these modes that were in Battlefield 4. And I pray that they don't end up turning around and selling these later on as DLC, because that'll be a big fuck you to the face. Um, is this game worth 60 bucks? In my opinion, no. I definitely think it's anywhere from 30 to 40, which you can actually go to Best Buy right now until the 4th and buy Battlefield Hardline for $40. But much like games that are out currently, I don't feel this game has a longevity to it. I feel like this is one of those games that you play with your friends for a little bit, then you go play other games and have fun with other games and then come back to this much later. So I hope you guys enjoyed my dislikes video. I put a lot of uh, thought into these likes and dislikes. Make sure you leave a like on the video to show support. I'm not telling you not to get this game, but I'm not telling you to buy it. Check out both my likes and dislikes video. And decide for yourself. Holla at your boy.